Hello, I am TJ from Green Hand Gaming, and tonight we have something really quite special to show you. We've got our hands on Intel's new Pentium 3 processor, as well as Nvidia's new GeForce 4 graphics accelerator, and we're going to test how both of these do in some of today's most demanding titles. So sit back and enjoy tonight's episode of Green Hand Television. The computer we are using today is a model from the popular PC manufacturer Gateway. It is one of their top of the line professional models and we've got it running Microsoft's new Windows 98 operating system. If you're a gamer this is definitely the operating system for you with better support for Microsoft's DirectX technology than ever before. The PC Gateway has given us to show today is equipped with the latest Pentium 3 processor clocked at 600MHz with 600MB of RAM, along with a massive 80GB of storage and NVIDIA's impressive GeForce 4 MX460 graphics processor. One of the big reasons gamers are flocking to the PC is for better graphics compared to Sony and Nintendo's console alternatives. And this is where the GeForce 4 graphics processor does not disappoint. We tested it thoroughly with some of the most demanding titles available and were impressed with the results. In the new shooter Half-Life, frame rates were impressive hitting as high as 70 FPS and going as low as 24 FPS at the worst of times. We had enormous fun playing with this title as we explored the vast Black Mesa facility that Valve has created for the game. Every hallway is full of a different creepy crawly we had to destroy. Another game that has become wildly popular at LAN parties today is id Software's Quake 3 Arena. The fast action and brutal weaponry seems to have attracted teens from around the globe and our PC has no trouble keeping the game running smooth, with frame rates close to 95 FPS at the best and 57 FPS for most of the time, only hitting 36 when things were really getting too intense. And if we're talking about wildly popular first person shooters, it would be a crime to forget to mention Unreal Tournament. The game held up a perfectly good 45 FPS for a majority of the time. Less graphically demanding titles such as Blizzard's Diablo, where you play as a warrior cleansing the dungeons of the small town of Tristram of its unholy demon presence. The game keeps a steady frame rate on our powerful gateway machine even at the busiest of times. And last of all, a game that pushed our sound card more than anything else was SimCity 2000. Our Sound Blaster Audigy created a significantly more pleasurable sound experience with more instruments than ever with the new Advanced Wave FX 64 technology. <laughs> Intel's new Pentium 3 processor when combined with a powerful 3D accelerator like the GeForce 4 are a perfect combination for gamers looking for the best experience that a PC has to offer. This machine is available for purchase from Gateway Country stores, online or over the phone, so you can have a machine as powerful as this on your doorstep in a matter of days. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Green Ham Television. If you would like to see your computer on the show, please let us know at our electronic mail address, which shall pop up on the screen now. Otherwise, from all of us here at Greenham, we wish you a safe and enjoyable week. But before we finish the episode, we're going to view some of the pictures of the computers that viewers, just like yourself, have sent in. Thanks again, and good night. Could you leave me heard what I said?